The Old Man and the Sea, part eight. Uh, just, I have a, a question, guys, if you want to try to answer. You would understand from the last video, right? Look, they say his father was a fisherman, talking about the great DiMaggio. Maybe he was as poor as we are and would understand. Understand what? Would understand how it is to be poor, would understand their condition, would help them. Think about it. <clears throat> okay, starting part eight now. The, the great Sizzler's father was never poor, and he, the father, was playing the big leagues when he was my age. When I was your age, I was before the mast of a square-rigged ship that ran to Africa, and I have seen lions on the beaches in the evening. A uh, square-rigged ship Rigged is to equip with masts, okay? Square rigged ship is, is a big ship. You have the picture there, guys, in the Quizlet. But basically, we're talking about a big, older ship. Okay, so I have seen lions on the beaches in the evening. I know, you told me. Should we talk about Africa or about baseball? Baseball, I think, the boy said. Tell me about the great John Hota McGray. He said Hota for Jay. He used to come to the terrace sometimes too in the older days, but he was rough and harsh spoken and difficult when he was drinking. Rough is like rude, right? You can have a rough surface. Rough surface is the opposite of smooth surface. If the surface is smooth, it's like this, you know? Like silk, you know? It's very smooth, smooth hair. My beard is... no, my beard is rough, okay? So if you get your hand through my beard, you'll see that it's not smooth. And your voice and your behavior can be uh, rough, okay? So, but he was rough and harsh spoken, so it means that he spoke in a harsh, hard way and difficult when he was drinking. His mind was on horses as well as baseball. At least he carried lists of horses at all times in his pocket, and frequently spoke the names of horses on the telephone. He was a great manager, the boy said. My father thinks he was the greatest. Careful here, guys, we're talking about soccer and baseball, right? And then we find out that this guy is a great manager. Uh, so he had a team or something like that? No. Uh, manager in soccer, baseball, is like a coach in soccer, you know? So he was a great manager, the boy said. My father thinks he was the greatest. Because he came here the most times, the old man said. If the roacher, another real guy, I would uh, pronounce that in a completely different way. I would say... Oh, sorry guys, I'm pronouncing it wrong in a different way. I would pronounce that something like the roacher or the roacher, right? But I have seen the transcript there and it's the roacher, right? The roacher. Why am I telling you this? It's just the name of a guy. Uh, just to emphasize that fact, guys, that uh, English is a huge confusion when it comes to the correspondence between spelling and, uh, and um, uh, pronunciation, all right? Okay, if uh, the Rocher had continued to come here each year, your father would think him the greatest manager. Who is the great, greatest manager, really? Luke or my, M Mike Gonzalez? I think they are equal. And the best fisherman is you. No, I know others better. Que la, the boy said. There are many good fishermen and some great ones, but there is only you. Uh, que la uh, is the Spanish for no way. Come on, right? Que la, the boy said. There are many good fishermen and some great ones, but there is only you. Thank you. You make me happy. 
I hope no fish will come along so great that he will prove us wrong. There is no such fish if you are still if you are still as strong as you say. I may not be as strong as I think, the old man said, but I know many tricks and I have resolution. Uh, resolution here is you, you think you are going to do something and you go there and you keep at it. <clears throat> you ought to go to bed now so that you will be fresh in the morning. I'll take the things back to the terrace. Good night then. I will wake you in the morning. You're my alarm clock, the boy said. Age is my alarm clock, the old man said. Why do old men wake, up, wake so early? Is it to have one longer day? I don't know, the boy said. All I know is that young boys sleep late and hard. I can remember it, the old man said. I'll waken you in time. I do, not, I do not like for him to waken me. It is as though I were inferior. Who is he in that case, guys? Who is him? It's the, the boy's boss, okay? Think about it. Uh, if you try to put yourself in his position, you kind of imagine, right? Your boss waking you up. It's as if you are, you are lazy, you know? So I do not like for him to waken me. It is as though I am I were inferior. I know. Sleep well, old man.